Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Travel Discoveries. I'm back again. Today's topic is we'll discuss about information for nationals of Ukraine, immigrant and non-immigrant visas updates in Ukraine, newly scheduled immigrant visa appointment, questing expedite processing, of I-130 petition, call petition for certain I-130 U.S. citizens petitioners, and requesting expedite immigrant visa processing from NBC or National Visa Center, and transferring immigrant visa cases from NBC humanitarian parole and refugees status. All of that, guys, we will discuss after this shout out. Uh, but before we started our shout out, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers for com commenting, watching, and supporting my channel. And especially, shout out to our new subscribers, King Obanya. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to my channel. And also, shout out to Abila's uh, new channel, Raj Bear Chahal and andrea may rivera thank you so much for the comments i really appreciate it i hope you will stick around until at the end of this video and guys please finish watching of this video so until at the end because this is a big contribution to the growth of my channel again thank you so much let us part our door let's start and also shout out to other countries such as united states India, United Arab Emirates, and Bangladesh. Thank you so much. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. So let us further do. Let's start. Information for nationals of Ukraine. Last updated March 11, 2022. The Department of State is not offering visa services in Ukraine at this time. We can continue to encourage U.S. citizens in need of emergency assistance in Ukraine to fill out our online form. Guys, uh, for the applicants in Ukraine and also the U.S. citizens that living in Ukraine, uh, U.S. Embassy in Ukraine are announcing that the Department of State uh, is not offering visa services in U.S. Embassy Cape. I encourage you guys, the U.S. citizens, that uh, if you have need of emergency assistance, all you need to do is to fill out the form online, okay, for the emergency assistance. The Department of State is sharing the information below to further clarify visa options and outline alternatives to visas that Ukrainians may consider. Uh, it is important to note that a visa is not a viable to achieve refugee resettlement in the United States. Non-immigrant visas are for temporary stays in the United States. Uh, they are not appropriate toll to begin an immigrant refugee or or resettlement process. If you apply for a non-immigrant visa but are unable to demonstrate intent to leave the United States after a denied period in order to return to the residence abroad, a consular officer will refuse your application. All B1 and B2 visa applicants are assumed to be intending immigrants and therefore ineligible for a non-immigrant visa unless they can establish otherwise. Non-immigrant visa applicants may apply at any embassy or consulate where they are physically present and where appointments are available. A full list of embassies and consulate is available here at https www us embassy.gov slash so guys for the list of the u.s embassies that are available for immigrant and non-immigrant visas you can go to their website for the full list of embassies that are operating okay so as a result of the covid 19 pandemic applicants may face extended visa interview 
wait times at some embassies and consulate. Appointment wait times are available at usbsas.state.gov. So appointment wait times is you can visit their website. Once an interview appointment is made, applicants will have the ability to request an expedite appointment but must describe the unique cir circumstances that justify such a request. For the immigrant visa updates, immigrant visas are for foreign nationals who intend to live and or work permanently in the United States. In most cases, a relative or employer sponsors the individual by filing a petition with U.S. citizenship and Immigration Services or USCIS. Further information, immigrant visas can be found here at https dot slash travel dot state dot gov slash content slash travel slash en slash u slash immigrate dot html. For newly scheduled immigrant visa appointments, U.S. Consulate General Frank Port is the designated processing post for all, all Ukrainian immigrant visa applicants except adoption cases. All newly scheduled immigrant visa cases will be slated for appointments at the U.S. Consulate General in Frank Port. Adoption cases being are being handled at U.S. Embassy Warsaw. A form of I-130 petition with USCIS and it has not been yet approved. You may inquire with USCIS regarding expedition at https dot slash www.uscis.gov slash form slash filing dash guidance slash how dash to dash make dash and dash expedite dash request i1-130 petition is you can requested by visiting their website all the links is i will put down below in my description box so that it's easy for you to redirect it to their website for more information for local file option for certain i-130 petition U.S. Citizens Petitioners So if you are a U.S. Citizen who is specifically present overseas with, with your visa petition with USCIS you may request to locally file an I-130 immigrant visa petition at the nearest U.S. Embassy or Consulate that processes immigrant visas so this applies only to U.S. citizen physically present in that consular districts, filing petitions for their spouses and unmarried children under 21 years old and parents who have fled Ukraine. Please email your nearest U.S. Embassy or Consulate's Immigrant Visa Unit if you believe you may qualify to, to locally file an I-130 petition. You can find those email address at each individual embassy or consulate's website. So requesting expedited immigrant visa processing from the National Visa Center. If you already have received approval of your I-130 petition from USCIS, but have not yet been scheduled for, for an appointment in Frankfurt, in BC, may be able to expedite processing of your case. For more information on national visa case processing, please visit at https slash travel.state.gov slash content slash travel slash an slash us visa slash immigrate slash national das visa das center slash immigrant dash visas dash processing dash general dash fax dot html so guys all you need to do is to visit this website 
please be aware that expedited cases processing uh, does not apply to family preference visa categories where a case is not current. Uh, transferring immigrant visa cases from Embassy Cave. If you have an immigrant visa case pending with U.S. Embassy Cave, that was not an adoption case. It has been transferred to Frankfurt. So according to them guys, if you have a pending immigrant visa on the U.S. Embassy Cave, uh, you can transfer on the U.S. Embassy Frankfurt. That is uh, adoption cases. You can transfer your case on the U.S. Embassy Warsaw. If you would like to transfer processing of an immigration case to another U.S. Embassy or consulate, uh, please contact the receiving U.S. Embassy or consulate in that country to request a case transfer. Embassy will have a list of requirements which must be satisfied in order to begin the transfer process. Transferring immigrant visa cases from NBC, immigrant visa applicants who have received an NBC case number and have supplied supporting information to become a documentarily qualified will receive notice of their Frankfurt appointment who are not yet scheduled appointment will receive notice of their Frankfurt appointment in the coming months uh, please see also in BC expedite paragraph above at https slash travel that state that gov slash content slash travel slash an slash us visa slash immigrate slash national dash visa dash center slash immigrant dash dash processing transfer dot htm uh, for adoptions uh, the department is actively working with adoption service providers or esps to provide guidance and answer questions during the critical time. Please see more information at Information for U.S. Citizens in the process of adopting Ukraine. This resource addresses adoptions and intended adoption at various stages of the process and provides guidance on home to consult and clarifications on the department's potential role and ability to assist prospective adopted parents should consult their esp about how the crisis in ukraine may impact their adoption plans families who previously hosted a child but are not yet approved to adopt me wish to consult the hosting organization to learn what efforts are being made uh, on behalf of the host child for the COVID entry requirements the u.s centers for disease control and prevention or cdc has exercised its enforcement discretion to allow certain persons from ukraine to travel to the united states without a free departure COVID 19 test until april for information, please refer to the CDC website at https slash www.cdc.gov slash quarantine slash fr dash prof dash negative dash test dot html. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security or DHS has amended the national interest exception from presidential proclamation 10294 which allows certain ukrainian travelers to the united states to enter without showing proof of covid 19 requirements so uh, for more information please refer to the dhs website at https slash www dhs.gov slash publication slash uh, national dash interest dash exception dash presidential dash proclamation dash 10294 for the humanitarian parole 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 is a program run by the department of homeland security or dhs 
that allows an individual who may be in admissible or other ineligible for admission into the United States to be in the United States for a temporary period for urgent humanitarian reasons or significant public benefit. It is not meant to replace the visa process. Anyone can file an application for humanitarian parole. Further information and instructions are available here at https www.usais.gov slash form slash explore dash my dash option slash humanitarian dash parole. Those who wish to apply for humanitarian parole should contact USCIS directly. Refugee status. Almost all refugees' cases and countries abroad are processed by local authorities or the United Nations Refugee Agency yep. and its HCR. Ukrainians should not attempt to apply for visas in order to travel to the United States as refugees. Instead, they should contact local authorities or UNHCR for refugee processing. All information is available from UNHCR at https helpunshcrorg including information about non-governmental organizations that they may be able to provide additional assistance. Additionally, U.S. AIDS website has information for Ukrainian refugees at https slash www.usaids.gov slash usaids response dash ukraine slash resources dash refugees dash asylum dash seekers the international organization for migration or IOM's Resettlement Support Center or RSC Eurasia is continuing limited operations per, from CAVE and from the sub office in Chisinau, Chisinau, Moldova. At present, RSC Eurasia is not conducting any in person activities nor scheduling any departures from Cape in the Eurasia or Chisinau, Moldova. We encourage applicants who are in harm's way to find safety and shelter whenever possible. The sub-office Chisinau can arrange departures for approved Ukrainian. Lotton bird applicants who have completed all U.S. refugee admission program or U.S. RAP. Processing requirements are, are physically outside of Ukraine. If you had an active U.S. RAP or refugee admission program, case with Resettlement Support Center or RSC, Eurasia, your case remains active and case processing is continuing to the extent possible. The current security situation in Ukraine will not have an impact on your USCIS decision or overall case processing. However, we anticipate that some resettlement processing activities may be delayed. We cannot indicate a timeline at this time. Applicants that were being processed in Ukraine and have changed location and or departed the country should write to RSC Eurasia and inform the RSC of their new location and information or contact information. Set my description box and all the link is I will put down below. I have a clarifications now guys for those applicants of the US Embassy CAVE. Uh, you don't be worried because uh, still your case is ongoing. Your, all your immigrant visas transferred processing to the U.S. Embassy Frankfurt, okay? And for the adoption cases is transferred into the U.S. Embassy 
far so guys if you think that this video is helpful to you consider to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that if i have a new upload videos you will be notified as soon as and also for those who have any comments just comment down below on my description box and i will answer as soon as and for those who never yet subscribe please consider to subscribe click that bell icon so that if i have a new upload videos you will be notified as soon as and also please share to your friends like and give a thumbs up stay safe and god bless you all thank you for watching see you in my next vlog bye